I, I don't even know where to start with this one. I've been uh, been putting it off. I thought I'd give myself some time. Like, well, I, just as a disclaimer, so I turned it off at half time. Like, I can't be arsed with this. Just the, the rubbish, the rubbish. Like, just get that in. I didn't watch the second half, so I'm not going to comment anything on that. I'll just give like a general oversight. I, if I'd have done it, once I found out the score at full time, I probably would have given a very different reaction to the one I'll give now. I've had a few hours to not calm down, but stew on it and think about it. And I'm not going to be the more logical because we are I'm not going to swear, but it starts with S and ends in T. I just can't understand how it, how it's got to this. We are absolutely honking. We're rubbish. Like, I, it's not even like, it's weird because... If you want to talk about football and what football is and like how football should be played in terms of like on the floor, we're actually all right at that. We we do like a lot of passing and we play football like the right way. We just don't win games, so it's not really the right way. But in how people want football to be played, we're good at that. Like we get the ball down and pass it, and but we just don't do anything with it. We're like all bark, no bite, and just they just don't do anything. And I don't know, they're just, they're just rubbish, like they're absolutely rubbish, it's boring, that's why I turned it off at half time, like I've defended Parker a lot, like I, I was on the full time show last week and like anyone who watched that will tell you like I, I defended Parker and I thought, no do you know what, let's give him a chance, like it's a lot of criticism, but we, he's just making the same mistakes every week, like Who's going to tell him that Josh Cullen's been absolutely honking, stinking the place out all season, yet he gets picked every week? Like, who, who's going to tell him? Like, what what does it take for him to realise? Like, what's it going to take for him to realise that you don't need Josh Cullen, Josh Laurent and Josh Brown in the midfield against any team in the Championship other than, like, maybe Leeds, Sheffield... <sighs> I want to say Sunderland, but are they really? Like, I don't know. Maybe Sunderland, perhaps. Like against them top teams, you, you, you probably do need them three. But against Millwall, with all due respect, like deserve to win on the day. From what I saw first half, like you know they should have been one nil up at half time with that chance the lad missed at the end. But Millwall deserved to win. But with all due respect to Millwall, we should be able to go the two in midfield, number ten, and attack. Like, and I know we didn't have our number 10 today in Fleming, but just do something different. Like, play two up with, like, Jay Rod and Hutonji and just catch them by surprise. Like, do something different or, you know, like, play Sarmiento in the 10 or play a back three if you think you can do something different. Like, what, what you've got to realise, Scott, is what you're doing isn't working. It's like we used to ridicule Daesh. With that like stupid insanity definition, everyone used to come out with we were like doing the same thing and expecting a different whatever it was, expecting a different outcome. I can't remember word for word what it was, but people used to ridicule Dice for it. Well, company did it with his his football. And now Parker's doing it, and you're like, well, how much longer do you, do you sort of give this? Because we're in touching distance, but if we give him till the end of January, February, we might be out of it. You know, for me, I I'm giving him. I've given like amples of time, but this uh, this situation's not improved in the last month, and it, it doesn't really look like it's going to improve. He's been dealt a, a bad hand by the board. I'll give him that, but that only washes so far. Like you, you can't use that forever and a day, and he's not doing the best with what he has got. Like he, he's not helping himself. So to me, he's uh, like perhaps this is harsh. I, I'd give him five games. We've got West Brom, Swansea, Coventry, Stoke and someone else. I, I don't know who. I, do you know what? Honestly, I don't even care. Like, I, I'm, I've i lost all interest in watching Burnley. Like, I, I don't even care who, who they're playing anymore. Like, it's, it's just boring watching them. They're boring. That's why I turned off at half-time. Just, what is the point? Don't make me any less of a fan. They're just... Before anyone starts crying at that, saying, "Oh, you're not a proper fan," like I, I don't care if you if you think that that's fine, I'm not bothered. But the boring. Why would I waste my Sunday afternoon watching that rubbish? 
watching Josh Brownell and Josh Cullen chase shadows, a pair of them, absolute hopeless. Yeah, he took Laurent off first, I'm led to believe, so... The guy doesn't have a clue, but I'd give him a few more games to turn it round, and if not, then... I think he'd, he'd have to go for me, but... I'm not really that bothered. If if they keep him and they stay down, it's one of them. I think I tweeted it. Saddest indict. Like this will be. I'll wrap it up by saying this. The, like the saddest taking from today. You've played the most average championship team there is, like in existence in Millwall. Then like never get in the playoffs. Never at the bottom. They're always like somewhere around the middle. It's, like bang average, and you you just looked as average if not worse than them so like, that just shows you where we're at like we're just a, we're just an average championship team and that's the saddest thing we, you know we were a really good championship team and then we were a poor premier league team now we're, we're not even a good championship team we're an average championship team and that to me is sad but give him a few more games I mean, if you want a glass half full view we're still fourth but I don't think that really washes with anyone now, does it? We're just absolutely rubbish, stinking the league out. Can't score for Toffee. Parker, sort it out. Oh, you'll just... You're out on your ear. If they turn in a stinker against Swansea next weekend and they get beat by West Brom, which they probably will, turf won't be worth living for Parker. He'll be out on his ear.